The second set of fallacies is, are called the fallacies of weak induction. And this set of fallacies are false inductive arguments because the connection between the premises and the conclusion is too weak to support the conclusion. Here are some examples. We will be talking about the appeal to an unqualified authority, the appeal to ignorance, a hasty generalization, a false cause, a slippery slope, and a weak analogy. Our first example, the appeal to an unqualified authority, is when an arguer cites an authority who is not qualified to support the claims he is making. Here is an example. Old Mrs. Ferguson, who's practically blind, has testified that she saw the defendant stab the victim with a bayonet while she was standing in the twilight shadows a hundred yards from the incident. Therefore, members of the jury, you must find the defendant guilty. The appeal to ignorance, or argumentum ad ignorantium, is when we have a set of premises in which there is a claim that nobody has proven anything at all, and yet the conclusion will claim that either something is true or something is false. Here's an example. People have been trying for centuries to provide conclusive evidence for the claims of astrology, and no one has ever succeeded. Therefore, we must conclude that astrology is a lot of nonsense. In the hasty generalization, which is the converse accident, we have a specific case that we observe, and it is not representative of the entire group, and out of that observation a general rule is made. Here's an example, and note, that all hasty generalizations are the basis of racist judgments. Ten Arab fundamentalists hijacked planes and crashed them into the World Trade Center in New York City. The message is clear. Arabs are nothing but a pack of religious fanatics prone to violence. Can you make a judgment of an entire group of people on the basis of ten people? No. And this is why this is a false argument and perhaps the basis of racist judgments. A false clause is when the premises have a minor causal connection with the conclusion. Here's an example. During the past two months, every time that the cheerleaders have worn blue ribbons in their hair, the basketball team has been defeated. Therefore, to prevent defeats in the future, the cheerleaders should get rid of those blue ribbons. A slippery slope starts off with an innocent first step, and there is a causal chain reaction not likely to occur, but the conclusion ends in a disaster. Here is an example. Attempts to outlaw pornography threaten basic civil rights and should be summarily abandoned. If pornography is outlined, the censorship of newspapers and news magazines is only a short step away. And after that, there will be censorship of textbooks, political speeches, and the content of lectures delivered by university professors. Complete mind control by the central government will be an inevitable result. You can see clearly why this is a false argument. An innocent first step, a set of unlikely causal reactions, and a silly, disastrous conclusion. A weak analogy is when there is a comparison made in the premises, and the conclusion is depending upon the comparison. Well, in a weak analogy, there is an inadequate comparison, an inadequate analogy. Here is an example. The flow of electricity through a wire is similar to the flow of water through a pipe. When water runs downhill through a pipe, 
the pressure at the bottom of the hill is greater than it is at the top. Thus, when electricity flows downhill through a wire, the voltage should be greater at the bottom of the hill than at the top. That is just silly.